Alright, it's, it's late at night, about 2 o'clock uh, in the morning. It was Saturday night after 12 midnight, Sunday morning. I'm coming from the Bronx, and I was with my people's playing spades. Now, I'm not really that familiar with the Bronx, so the best way I know how to get home is to follow the 6 bus line where it stops at. Now, the bus doesn't stop at 2 o'clock in the morning, so I'm just trying to follow the signs, so I'm driving real slow. And I know they got the Bruckner Boulevard Expressway and the Cross Bronx Expressway, but I'm not that familiar with the Bronx. All I know is the 6 bus will take to Manhattan, so I'm following that line. So, for those of you who know anything about the 6 bus, 6 bus goes through a real famous area of the Bronx called Hunts Point. Just about, you can see just about anything happening at Hunts Point. <laughs> so, I'm following the, following the signs, trying to get home. And then I notice I see a white guy in a snazzy car go by. And I recognize this white guy. I'm just like, yo, who, who's this white guy doing riding around here? I figure he might be one of those lawyers or, you know, one of those judges who be running around here trying to, you know, pick something up. So I'm just like watching him. And then I realize, I, yeah, I recognize this guy. I've seen him on TV. This guy's one of those big healthcare bigwigs. So he's not driving all that fast. And I'm driving slow. So I just follow him for a little bit. So he pulls up into a cook corner and cut his lights, right? So I pull up, not right behind him, I just pull up, you know, a little bit behind him, cut my lights and duck down real low, I'm just watching to see what he's doing. I mean, I'm just being nosy. Because, you know, I know as long as I follow the, bu the bus route, I'm going to find my way home. So I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. Because, you know, how's the point? Anything would be going down. So I'm watching him. Next thing I know, in the shadows on the street, I see what looks like some busted looking white woman walking up walked his car. She has on uh, high heel shoes, nothing but high heel shoes, some panties, and what looks like have on lipstick. And as the white woman's coming out the shadow, she's just looking worse and worse. Then I realize, hold on, this ain't no white woman. <laughs> this is a white man. Not only is a white man, it's an old white man. It's an old white man and he got a patch of gray hair. Let's do like yo. Still got a high heel shoes, red lipstick, and panties, and that's all. In the dead of night, I'm saying this dude look familiar. And I said, yo, what up? That's that man Senator Joe Lieberman. <laughs> what the fuck? What's he doing out here? So he walks up to the car and gets in the passenger side. So I'm just like, whoa, hold on. What the hell is going on here? Now, next time, no couple of seconds. It seemed like all of a sudden I see him to leave his head. He looked like his head is bobbing. So I'm just like, yeah, hold, up, hold up, man. What the hell is going on here? So the head bobbing is going on. And the dude in, in, in the driver's seat, he's just sitting there. Next thing I know, it looks like he raises his right hand and grabs, grabs, grabs Joe, Joe by his hair, by his little, what little, little white gray hair he has and just starts thrusting it down and stuff like that and then look like Lieberman tries to put his hands up to try to get his hands off his head, but homeboy smack his hands away like, yo, you, you gonna do this the way I want it to be done, I'm paying for this. So, he just <laughs> pushes his head down like even harder and fast. I'm just like, yo, what the hell is going on here? So I'm watching this and, and it sounds like this has happened for a long time, but this is seemingly happens in like, in, in all going on in less than a minute. So now, soon, so suddenly they just both stop moving. They just stopped moving, so I guess my man finally had his moment. Next thing I know, the passenger door opens up, and BOW! You know, Lieberman comes flying out the door. He hits the ground. Man looks out the window, calls him a fucking faggot, and then throws a whole bunch of hundred dollar bills at him. Now he's laying there on the ground with his panties are torn, one of his high heel shoes is coming off his feet. He's coughing and stuff like that, and he got these hundred bills lying. The dude takes off. The healthcare dude takes, put you know, puts his car in drive and takes off. And I'm looking just like, yo, ain't this something, man? My man, he just treated him like he was a two dollar hooker, but then he threw all them hundred dollar bills out the window and then had the nerve to call him a fucking faggot after he committed the faggoty act with him. I'm just tripping up behind this, but even though I'm tripping up behind it, something like, hold on, man. Homeboy just threw a whole bunch of hundred dollar bills. Now I'm not shady like that, but I was thinking, man, I should roll up there and just rob his ass, do the strong arm robbery. Then I said, you know, I'm not shady like that, man. Don't do, go ahead, don't, don't do that, man. So I'm just looking at this. I just like, you know what? 
car and drive, I rolled by. I rolled down the window, I looked at leave and I said, yo, you fucking healthcare hooker. <laughs> then I just drove on home laughing, look at him laying on the ground coughing, man, trying to pick up his hundred dollar bills. And, you know, whether or not he was going to go back on the stroll or not, but I was just like, ain't this something? Oh, Joe Lieberman out here on Hunts Point Avenue being a healthcare hooker. Anyway, people, that's just my story. Peace.